Well, hello. Welcome back. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, if you're not new, you're amazing. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I think it's possible, but I definitely need your help. Now, this is going to be a much longer video than a lot of my other videos because I'm reviewing an entire collection here and I was very excited to pick this collection up. Well, have it shipped to me from England because this is an English brand. It's from the UK. I have never tried anything from them before, but their promo pictures hooked me in. Hook, line, and sinker. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the Sirens collection from Jolie Beauty and it is quite a collection. There were quite a few things in this collection the promo pictures got me. I always talk about how I want to be a mermaid. Unfortunately, I can't swim super well, so that probably would count against me in the long run. But you know what? That's okay, because you don't need to be able to swim to wear this collection. So let me first show you what came in this collection. We're going to be reviewing pretty much all of it. <laughs> we're going to do swatches of all of it. We're going to put it on my face, and we're going to see how it performs, because I have never tried anything from Jolie Beauty. Um, again, it's a UK brand, so it took a little while to get to me, but really not that long. The shipping was actually pretty fast. And um, yeah, if this collection is good, they have other collections on their website that I am curious about, that's for sure. So let's talk about what's in the Sirens collection. First up, you know the biggest love of my life is eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Sirens palette. It retails for $41 believe all these prices are in USD um, <laughs> because that's how I buy things in USD. But this is what the palette looks like. It's beautiful. It is every color that I love in one palette. It, it screams mermaid. Now, there is something that's working against it. You could probably guess what it is. It's the four pressed glitters in there. I'm not gonna use the pressed glitters Press glitters scare me. <laughs> they really do. I don't want to put them on my eye, but they're there and they are really pretty if that's something you're interested in. The huge perk of this palette though is it has two multi-chromes. So Song and Pearl right there, those two are both multi-chromes. So they're really, really pretty. I've already swatched this palette, which you will see, and they just, they feel amazing. So this is kind of the pearl of the collection, if you will. But there's a lot more, so let's talk about it. This collection also came with four liquid eyeshadows and these retail for $16 each. You can get them in a bundle for $46, which is not actually too bad. And they are multi-chrome. So two of them have a clear base. So I feel like they work more like toppers. And then you have two that have the darker base. So it's a little easier to see the shift. I actually am wearing one of them on one of my eyes. We will get into what this look is <laughs> in a minute. So. Calm down. Um, but these are the liquid shadows that come in this collection. We also have four chameleon cream eyeshadow pots. So these are also all multi-chromes, lots of multi-chromes in this collection. And these are also on my eyes. So again, we go over this formula. We, we swatch them, we talk about it. It's very interesting. These are very, very beautiful. They retail for $19 each, or you can get a bundle of the four of them for $55 if you wanna collect them all like I do. And then you do have some lip products. So you have the Air Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is $15. And then you have two holographic lip glosses, which retail for $16 each. So yeah, it's quite a collection. We are just gonna jump into it. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I did, why and what I did with this. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna go into a look with the palette. Mm, I cannot wait. So. Let's just get into this. Let's show off these beautiful chameleon pot shadows and liquid shadows, and then let's get into the palette. So I did go ahead and switch the liquid eyeshadows. So the first one on there is Sea Sparkle, just this one. The one after that is Mesmerizing. So they're both multi-chromes. They're actually all four of these are multi-chromes, but with these two, they're on a clear base. So it's mostly the shimmer in that that is multi-chromatic and you can kind of see a little bit of the shift on camera. I do have the ring light turned off 
That normally helps a little bit to see the shifts, but yeah. So those ones I think would be really good toppers. The bottom two, we have Odyssey, which is really pretty. And then we have Oil Slick. So that's Oil Slick. And you can kind of see on here, you can definitely see the shift, the purple shift in this one. This one, there's a blue shift, so you can kind of see it in there as well. So those are the four liquid shadows in this collection. And then I also swatched the four Chameleon, Chameleon Cream eyeshadow pots. These actually remind me a lot of the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes um, in that the swatching with your fingers it doesn't show the full beauty because look at my fingers compared to the swatches. I mean, they're both pretty, let's be honest, but I just feel like so much product remained on my fingers. This is definitely a product I think you want to use a brush with and a glitter glue. <laughs> Keep it secure. Uh, this one's beautiful. So let's go over the colors. The first one is Delusions. The second one is Mermaid Tail. Third, we have The Deep. And then possibly my favorite is Siren Song. So the last swatch there. So yeah, really, really pretty. So first I wanna see how these chameleon cream pots work because they are definitely giving me Danessa Myrick's Chrome Flakes vibes, which worries me a little bit because those things are really hard. I find them really hard to work with. <laughs> Maybe someone has figured out the trick. But we're gonna see if we can figure these guys out. We're gonna be using, oh, already has my hair on it. It's almost impressive how quickly that happened. So we're gonna go ahead and go into Mermaid Tail and Siren Song. These are, I mean, they look so amazing, but I am just worried I'm not gonna be able to get them on my eyes. So what we're gonna do is we have the NYX Glitter Glue and we are going to put that on my eye. Okay, now that the glitter glue has dried down a little bit, it needs to be tacky. What I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna go into Mermaid Tail. I'm gonna pick some up on my brush. The consistency is definitely similar to the Danessa Myricks, but it is a little easier to pick up on a brush. Oh yeah. Okay, yep. <laughs> That's kind of insane. That looks completely foiled. Okay, you're definitely gonna get a better payoff if you press it into the lid and don't move it. Just press it in. Wow, okay. So they're definitely, I think, very similar. In the way that they act, they are like chrome flakes. <laughs> so we're just pressing them in. Look at that, that's so interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go into Siren Song. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm picking up quite a bit on my brush. Okay, my hair is gonna become a part of this look. And I am just pressing down. So trying to go back over them lifts the ones you've already placed. So you kind of got to place it and be done with it or else it's going to lift. Okay. That is really interesting. If you've tried the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes, you're getting a similar consistency and formula with the Chameleon Pots as well. They're definitely flakes. That's how they kind of act. It's really interesting. Um, they're really, really pretty. I'd almost say they would work better if you put them on top of an eyeshadow um, because it's they just don't, they don't blend out. So once you put them down, that's kind of where they're gonna be. They're so pretty though. Like <laughs> looking at them in person, they're so pretty. It's the same with the Janess Myricks. The Janess Myricks is so hard to use that I've kind of given up, but Maybe I just need to practice a little more. You know, we're gonna try the liquid shadows on this eye, cause now I'm curious. So I am going in again with my NYX glitter glue because that stuff is a lifesaver. And I am gonna use Odyssey, so the pretty green color. 
Oh, glitter glue to make my eyes stick. Okay, one thing I hate about liquid multi-chromes, you cannot use a brush. Using a brush just like completely messes it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger. Let's see if this will work a little bit better. Ooh. No, I made it messier. I think the actual doe foot applicator is working much better than my finger or a brush. So, yeah, definitely use the actual applicator that it comes with. One side looks like Mardi Gras. Look at that, that is it's insane. Okay, let me attempt to put on some eyeliner. I can see eyeliner not wanting to go on either one of these looks. So I might have to bring out a potted eyeliner, which I don't use them very often, so we'll see. And let me put on some mascara, and then let's see what these two looks end up looking like. The only way I can describe my eyes right now is it is a cacophony of color. It is beautiful. It's like a whirlwind of undersea magical treasures hit my face, and this is what I was left with. We have some very different formulas between these two items. The Chameleon, I keep wanting to call them Chrome Flakes because they remind me so much of the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. They're not called that. They're called the Chameleon Cream Eyeshadow Pots. And then we have the Liquid Multi-Chrome Shadows. So two very different formulas that we're working with. I'm gonna say, I don't think either of these are beginner friendly formulas. And that's just how I find pretty much the majority of multi-chromes to be. Um, probably with the exception of powder multi-chromes, but even then I do feel like it takes a little bit of getting to use them in order to really understand the best way to apply them. So for liquid multi-chromes, all, every single liquid multi-chrome I have, I have this issue where they don't, it doesn't layer on top of each other itself, itself. You can't go in and really buff it out you need to place it and just let it sit because that is the best way to do liquid. Um, and sometimes even then, like you get some patchy spots. So it's it's really like something that you have to try a few times. I mean, glitter glue has saved my life. The NYX glitter glue is absolutely fantastic. You place something down on the glitter glue and it stays. And that's kind of what you need to do with the liquid eyeshadow. You don't mess with it too much because it'll get so mad at you. So. So I find this to work pretty much exactly the way I find all liquid multi-chromes to work. Um, it's very pretty. I'm actually really interested in using the two lighter shades because I don't know, they just, they're toppers for sure, um, but I'm very intrigued by them. So that's my feeling on the liquid side of my face. Um, the <laughs> Chameleon Cream Pots, not Chrome Flakes, they are basically Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. So they are, extra hard to use in my opinion they are tricky to use but if you can get them to work for you they're beautiful again i think you're dealing with a situation where you have to place them and then be done with it you can't mess around with them too much because they they don't want to be messed around with and they are flakes so they don't necessarily oh i'm getting cat hair everywhere so they don't necessarily look like flakes in here but when you pick them up with your brush, when you pick them up with your finger, they come out as flakes. And it was interesting because when I picked them up on my finger, my finger was just glazed with color. It looked like a metallic sheen had been placed on my finger. And it's really hard to get that effect on your eye because on your eye, they look like chrome flakes. They look like flakes. So again, I think this is, uh, I know this for me is a product that I need to work more with to really understand how to use it because it's very difficult. <laughs> it's a little trickier to use. So I need to play around more with this to figure out how to get those chrome flakes to really disperse on my eye. Because I, I they don't want to they don't want to do that. You know, they want to just be placed and they want to be done with you. So it's an interesting formula. It's really pretty. I think you could do some really interesting looks with these. I just need to practice. That's how I feel about these ones. But let's do a look with the eyeshadow palette. I know that's what you've all been waiting for. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get into some swatches of the Jolie Beauty Sirens palette. Yes, I do believe this palette was specifically made for me. Look how beautiful it is. 
I will be swatching the glitters after because I don't really want to get them all over my fingers. It's going to cause a mess. So let's swatch everything else except for these four glitters. We have seashell, harp, ocean, Sirens, Shipwreck, Temptress, Starfish, Atlantis, Oh, I almost skipped this one. This one is not a pressed glitter. This is a multi-chrome. See that? It's really pretty. This is Song. Ooh. Triton. We have another multi-chrome. Trying to catch it. Oh, there we go. You see that shift? It goes blue. Very pretty. This is Pearl. Kraken. Then we have Odyssey. Mermaid. Ah, I can never swatch that well over my bone. <laughs> Floating, Lured, Drowning, Moonwake, Tail, Sailor, Rocky, Wow, Undertow, The Deep. And stormy. So here's the palette. Everything except those pressed glitters. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it really is pretty. The two multi-chromes are so pretty. I'm trying to see if you can kind of catch the shift on camera. No, of course. The I it when the lights are on really bright. It's hard to see the shift in multi-chromes. So let's, just for funsies, because we know we don't really use pressed glitters here, but let's swatch them just to see what they look like. Because they do look pretty. So we have Sunken. Ursula, oh my gosh. I need to find something to do with these. They're so pretty. Scales. And Delusion. So these are the pressed glitters in the palette. If you are interested in pressed glitters, they're gorgeous. I just would be very scared to get them near my eyes because they are pretty chunky. So just kind of keep that in mind but uh let's I don't know let's do something look how pretty these are let's, let's put them on the face we are back and we are more or less 
cleaned up. It took quite a while to get the the chrome flakes off of my face. So if you're seeing some residual sparkles, um, you're welcome. They're beautiful. But now we are really getting into it. If we weren't already, this Sirens palette, I am so excited to use this. We are, we have almost too many options here though. I get a little overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I wanna do. It's probably going to be something green though. I would say green, maybe some purple, maybe all of it, I don't know. But I am first going to prime my eyes. Uh, my poor eyes are gonna be so mad at me after this. <laughs> They're just like, stop putting things on me. Um, so I am using the ABH primer, which I just kind of squeezed a little too hard. I also have been wearing the holographic lip gloss in As Above, and that also got everywhere. <laughs> so that's uh, good to know if you use it. You need to really not take it off until you're done. Okay, let's go into, I feel like I just did a green look. Should we do like a murky green look? Oh, see, this I always run into this problem. I just, there's too many options. But we do love a purple. We do love our greens. We'll do a mix. We will hang out in these two rows, I think, and use these colors, minus the pressed glitter. So let's start by, let's take Harp, this really pretty purple color, and let's put that all over my upper lid. So this color, I knew when I swatched it, it was gonna be very light on me. So it's kind of a good thing to know. It's very pretty purple, but it is very, very light. Possibly a bit too light for me. So let's go into the color below it. Let's go into Starfish. Because you know your girl likes some bright purple. As I was literally just saying, I'm about to put a matte sea green on my lips. Is the purple gonna clash? Oh yeah, pro probably. Maybe not. Sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe we just need to make this kind of more of a murky sort of color. So let's go into the deep this color here. I'm gonna use that on the outer ends of my eye. I, you know, if I had a choice, I would always go into the purples. I would always go into the tealy greens. Those are my, my jam. And I need to switch it up a bit, huh? As I literally go into the purples and a green, a tealy dark green. I'm gonna go into Lured, which is this color here. And I'm gonna put that into my crease. Next, I really wanna go into this shipwreck color up here. And I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lid. And this is one of the colors I swatched and it feels so silky. It's really, really quite a pretty color. And I think to kind of round it off, I'm gonna go into Tempterous in this corner, and I'm gonna put that underneath my waterline to kind of complete the look. Okay, so I'm actually really proud of myself. I stayed away from the teals, which was hard to do. But I know I will use them a lot in my day-to-day -day life, so it's okay for now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this exact same look on the other eye. I'm gonna put on some mascara and some eyeliner, and then we're gonna come back and we are going to attempt to put on this matte green tealy lipstick. Let's, uh, we're gonna try this out. You know, I don't wear a lot of teal lipstick, but I've always wanted to be that person that wears teal lipstick because I freaking love teal. So this is in the color Siren, and we're just gonna, we're gonna put this on. And if I need to jump off screen to fix it up, because I do that with all my lipstick, <laughs> I'm, you may see me do that. Okay, so I am definitely not an expert at colored matte lipsticks that dry down this fast. It dried down so fast, Actually feels really good on my lips though. It's not drying. It just dried down. Um, so, so not as perfect as it could be, but my God, is it fun. 
Actually, I think we are gonna go into one of the holographic lip glosses on top of it. This is so below. I haven't tried this one yet. We're trying everything. Might as well. Oh my God, it's so black. It's so black. I thought it would be clear. I feel like I'm reliving my goth era. I haven't had my goth era yet. Maybe this is my goth era. Well, <laughs> the lip gloss definitely covered up the lipstick. I don't know how I feel about that. I liked the lipstick. I wonder if we can get the lip gloss off without removing the lipstick. Let me check. The answer was no. I could not take the lip gloss off without taking the lipstick off as well, which was interesting because the lipstick was dry down. It didn't want to move, but it moved when this came off. It was, um, it was uh, traumatizing. <laughs> but I've now reapplied the matte lipstick because that's what we're here for. Um, but yeah, just so you know, if you get the black holographic lip gloss, it is black. It is, yeah, so you have the clear one, which is as above. This one is holographic shimmer suspended in a clear formula. So let's talk about this collection because I have a lot of thoughts and um, yeah, I do. Let's start off with probably my favorite thing which will be no surprise, but it's gotta be this eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, this palette is beautiful. The color story is everything I could imagine. And all the colors that I used worked really well. The mattes blended out beautifully. The more sequin shimmer shades, like this one that I used up here, which is Shipwreck. So pretty, so creamy to feel, really, really pretty. Doesn't give you a really high impact shimmer look, but I do like satin shades quite a bit, so I like that one a lot. We didn't play with the multi-chromes in this palette, but they did swatch beautifully, so I wouldn't be surprised if they also applied beautifully. We stayed away from those pressed glitters. They're dangerous. I like this palette. I cannot recommend this palette enough. It is absolutely gorgeous, and definitely think about picking it up if this is your color story. Now, as for everything else, I think a lot of these products I'm going to need to use a lot more in order to be comfortable using them. I think specifically the Chameleon Chrome Pots, they're tricky. They're really tricky. So it's going to take me some time to figure out the best way to use them, but they are pretty. So I want to get there. It's just going to take me some time. The liquid shadows, I'm really excited to use these weirdly enough. Normally I like stay away from toppers, but I think these are going to be so pretty on, you know, some sort of matte green or matte brown. I don't know. Something. I'm going to put them on something. Ooh, purple. Ooh, I'll put them on a matte purple. They'll be pretty. I will say the other two colors. I definitely have other liquid multi-chromes in similar colors to these two. So not super unique colors. I feel like I haven't seen too much of this kind of multi-chrome color. So these are a little more unique, um, but they are a really good price. I think for $16 each, that's actually a really good deal for multi-chromes. Um, I do feel like they perform like all the other multi-chrome liquid shadows that I've used before. It takes practice and it takes patience. So just kind of keep that in mind. The lip products are fascinating. These are so different and unique. <laughs> let's go, let's talk about Siren first. So this is the matte lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It is on there. It is on there. It is dry. It's not moving. It's, it's not transferring. Uh, this is a transfer proof, budge proof. You're not going to get this off until you want it off. I actually now would love some of this in like a bright red. I think that would be amazing. Honestly, I don't know how often I'm going to be pulling out teal. <laughs> I don't use teal a whole lot on my lips, I'm not gonna lie, but this formula is something special. It really, really is. It's super fast drying. It's clearly budge proof, which is kind of insane. Like I've, I've tried so many lipsticks lately that are like, oh, budge proof, long wearing, and they transfer. So I'm like, well, it's not really budge proof if they're transferring on everything, right? But this, no, this is mm, nothing, nothing. So really interesting formula. If you're looking for a fun teal, I would say that this hits the mark for sure. The two holographic <laughs> lip gels are fascinating. I just, like the black one is legit black. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna use them, but I'm obsessed. I need to wear them on everything. It's kind of similar though to the matte formula in that 
they are on there. They don't want to come off your face. So they are pretty long lasting from what I can tell. Granted, this is the first impression, but even trying to take off the as above color earlier, it didn't want to come off. It didn't, it, it's still a gel, but it wants to stay on your lips. So fascinating. Um, I just, these are great. I'm so excited to use these. I don't know when, but I'm going to. Overall, I got exactly what I wanted, and that was a Siren Mermaid underwater themed collection that's absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with this collection. I Again, this is the first thing I've ever tried from Jolie Beauty, so I am glad that it was such a hit. You know, I'm glad that there's so many fun products here. No, I didn't need everything, but I'm really glad that I tried out everything because it means I really tried out the brand. <laughs> there's a little bit of a quite a, quite a bit in this collection so this was such a fun video to make this is just the colors make me happy i'm so happy to have added these things to my collection especially this palette oh love it so yeah i uh, pff, let me know what you think below have you tried anything from jolie beauty um i know there's few people that subscribe here that are from the uk so i'd love to hear from you is this a brand that you're familiar with in the UK? I don't know, but their promo shots are out of this world beautiful. So, so beautiful. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. So please go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, tell me what your favorite color of the day is. I'd love to hear it because mine is definitely teal. Mine is definitely teal. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.